Hey, Daniel here, and I just want to share what's been happening. I've just been to Jason Chin's intern group, and it was just great being with Alexander Logia, Rebecca, and, and just meeting with these amazing, great interns that Jason Chin has who are doing the Love Says Go Academy School and correcting your homework. And we kind of connected and spoke, and we talk about humility and how it looks like, you know, just to serve out of love and loving people out of rest. And how you also behave, you know, when people look up to you too much. How do you, like, um, put yourself on the level of where you're at, you know, when people exalt you and when people don't give you honor. How you just always focus on Jesus and give him the honor in everything that you do and not on yourself. So we're talking about that and how to deal with leadership. And I just learned some really good things. Some of the things I want to share that Jason thought of was that he said that, when he goes somewhere, he thinks, what's the what's the most bad thing that can ever happen to me in this meeting? What's the worst scenario possible? And he thinks it, and he's like, oh, I'm still going to be loved even if it happens. So it doesn't really matter. And and so it's all about not performing, you know, to leaders and people. People want to perform, want you to per- perform to them. It's also like... When people invite you, you know, either on TV and things like that or meetings and, and they want to hear from you, you kind of feel like you need to perform and share with them the greatest testimonies that you have. But you don't have to do that. You can just be a son and relax and be like, hey, I'm so loved. I'm so okay in this place. I'm so honored. I'm so valued. I'm important. God is important and God loves me the way I am. And, you know, just focusing on those things would really give you a good attitude in life. And when I was in that room, I realized that I was with with world changers, you know, from Mexico and the States and Germany and Switzerland. (laughs) And I realized, wow, I am with world changers who are going to change the world. And I know it. They are going to do so. And I'm sitting there with them, just talking and sharing about all those great testimonies that God have done through their lives. And I'm just sitting there listening, you know, in astonishment. And also while I'm sitting there, I'm just seeing tears coming, going down, you know, my cheeks because I'm being touched and healed as they were talking and sharing their processes in life. God was just doing something inside of me. And it, and a lot of what they spoke about really related to where I'm at or where I've been at, where I'm going at. And it was just really good. It was just a really blessing. I also just heard that some of the interns that I, I spoke to last time and they said that it had an effect on them. And one of them actually decided to, to do something that he was afraid of doing, to move back home. And he said that that me speaking had an effect on him, of him doing that and, and jumping into it because that's where he felt his heart was kind of like taking him to. So I'm thinking, wow, God, that's really powerful to hear that testimony, that that had an effect on his life, just me telling him that. Oh, wow. I'm, I just felt really, really blessed by hearing that and just hearing that story, what God have done in his life and what he's going to do and what he's up for doing. So, so it's been a really good day meeting with them. We had a meeting for about three, four hours, and we're just sitting here listening. Just great to hear. I'm learning so much things. And it's just so good to be with people who are revival people. You know, all those people there, they've seen, you know, crazy healings happen. They see legs growing out. They see fingers growing out. They see blind eyes open and deaf ears open. They see that. And still, they're so humble in God. And they're like, yeah, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus and everything is about Jesus. And for me, just to be there with them really you know, brings my heart into this place of, wow, everything is about him. It's not about me. It's not about our ministry. It's not about miracles and healing. It's about him and us just feeling the needs inside of us just to be filled by Jesus himself. It's so important. So I bless you guys with that. And I just want to put this, you know, as a vlogging post just for a memory of this special time that I had with Jason Chins and interns. And also we had some fun. Jason took up this game in the end. And it was like two different tastes of um, of um, candy. One is really bad and the other one isn't. And then we tasted and I did. And mine smelled like pee. And it tasted like pee. It was crazy, hilariously bad. So you can see that too. <laughs> it's all about having fun. God is still in a good mood. And he do wants revival to come to our city and to our home. Amen.